right, so let's um, skirt around the out the outside of uh, these towns. I'm not going to go through them because they do tend to have quite a few survivors heading through on the way up to the northwest airfields. That's a pretty interesting radio tower if that's what it is down there. The one with the ball on the top. So I might head right round uh, to the west through these fields. And you often get snipers in that warehouse there as well. And uh, if we go right round, I think there's actually a couple of... Uh, there's some deer stands that we can uh, check on the way round as well. If we go around this way, I think there's like three or four deer stands on the way. So hopefully I can pick up some uh, some sort of a primary weapon that I can use. I'm just going to scope it out a little bit. Uh, occasionally you get people sniping the deer stands or like... Uh, okay, there's one of those buildings that you can loot. There's a church through there. Let's head across this uh, this field or paddock, whatever you want to call it. And off in that direction, if you keep going west, I actually went, uh, tried to like explore that area of the map and there's basically just endless plains or it seems that way anyway. I went for ages and there was nothing at all. Let's scope it out a little bit more here. So I think that town to our uh, east is Novi Sobor. Right. I can't see anything. So, so far so good. And most of the time this server is pretty full. It's a, like a 50 person server. And there's usually about 45 players in it at one time. I'm not sure where they all hang out though. Probably, probably they're all in Cherno and Electro, the main cities. PVPing each other, whatever they do. And that's fine with me because I'll stay up north here for a bit. Okay, now I'm looking for uh, signs of a deer stand because I think there's one in the area. Uh, here somewhere. It might be. Uh, Perhaps uh, further into the forest a little. That's just a rock. And nothing. Let's get across this road here. It's really awesome that I found that compass because it makes navigation so much easier when you know what direction you're heading in. It's alright if you're on the coast, but uh, once you're inland, you can lose your bearings a little bit. There is a way of navigating if you have a watch as well, as long as you have uh, the direction of the sun that you can uh, check, but it's not super easy. It actually works in real life as well. And if I can find a map, it'll be even better. Let's get through here. So I'm almost full on blood at the moment, so that's pretty awesome. Oh. Up there, I think we've got a deer stand just on the edge of that uh, grove of trees. Excellent. So let's check that out. And uh, probably we'll have some zombies spawning in. You usually get 
Uh, not sure what that message means, but you usually get some policemen and military style zombies around the deer stands because it's classed as a military loot zone. And uh, we'll probably get some zombies spawning in there. But as I said before, if uh, you wait, uh, they'll basically slowly move away from the deer stand anyway. And then you'll be able to check it out more safely. Just checking for signs of any other people in the area. Oh, there's a, there's a wild boar in the uh, forest over there. Alright, so let's move, move up there. There's, uh, there's our first zombie over there. There's a couple up in the forest as well. <coughs> Pardon me. But you usually only get, you know, five or six around a deer stand. So they're pretty easy to avoid. Let's try and be a little bit careful. We've been reasonably unlucky with what we've got at these couple of deer stands that we've come across so far. So hopefully we get a weapon in this one. And you can get stuff like AKs and, and uh, stuff like that if you get lucky. I can hear a zombie somewhere around here. There he is. Policeman zombie. Any back here? Doesn't look like it. He's right next to the deer stand though, so we have to be a little bit careful here. Sneak my way over to this tree. He's wandering away now. Hopefully he'll be right. And apparently the zombies have like a 30 degree field of vision. But their eyesight's pretty poor. It's mainly their hearing you've got to worry about. What have we got? Oh yeah! Check it out! What have we got here? That is awesome. It's an AKM. That's, uh, that's nice. It's actually better than the AK. Uh, the AK-47. Because it's got, uh, it uses the military um, caliber rounds. This, I think it's seven millimeter, or, or whatever they are. So, it's actually more powerful. And even though it's just got iron sights, it's um, pretty beast for PvP. So, the main reason I want a decent primary weapon is not so much for the zombies, although it can help if you get swarmed, but... Uh, just have to be careful getting getting out of this area in case there's other people here in the vicinity. But yeah, an automatic weapon like this uh, is just going to help you out if you get in a close quarters PvP situation. Uh, ideally, what I'd like to have is a sniper rifle as well. And that would be the ideal setup for me because uh, if you do start getting sniped from someone at a distance and you have a sniper rifle as well, and you can actually have uh, an, a second primary weapon if you put it in your backpack. It takes up 10 slots though. Uh, then you could, you know, have an option if you were getting sniped long distance. But sniping is not easy in this game. Just going to have a check down here. There is another deer stand somewhere in the area here. I think it's a little more east of this one. So I'm just going to see if I can spot it before we move in. So we just head a little bit further west here maybe. And I think we want to head across there. Towards uh, the top end of Starry Sobor. Wait, uh... What's that down there in the field? That's uh, that's a downed helicopter. Awesome. This is the first one I've ever found. Let's uh, oh, there's quite a few zombies around it though. 
Apparently, uh, these things uh, have the very best loot that you can get in the game. Uh, like night vision goggles. There's a higher chance of any anywhere else of getting night vision goggles. And uh, some of the unique weaponry like uh, the British style weaponry. So let's uh, let's definitely head down there, and I'm going to try and uh, try and find some stuff down there. It's kind of in the direction we're wanting to head in, anyway. Uh, we're going to have to. I don't know if I want to draw attention to myself by shooting these dudes, though. So we might try and stealth it all the way up to the helicopter. Oh, there's a cow back there as well. What a find! This is awesome. They're not. Uh, there are. They are a little bit rare. These down helicopters, and, and they're in random locations in the map that you can come across them. So let's uh, let's resort to the old uh, prone style of uh, approach on this thing. And I'll see if we can uh, get there without any of the zombies going aggro on me. I'd really like to find some night vision goggles because I've never found a pair ever in playing this. And uh, then we could try them out on some uh, nighttime servers, but even at, even at places like this, there's a fairly low percentage of uh, finding them. Still have to get a little bit lucky. It actually looks like that minigun on the side is like uh, firing. That's pretty weird. Must be a glitch. That'd be cool if you could uh, pick up the minigun and take it with you. Let's check it out. I don't really know where you um, find the loot points on these. It's a UH-1Y. I'm not sure exactly where the loot drops on these things, but I've read in forums that you can access the driver's seat or something. Not. Let's see if there's anything around this side, maybe. And there are helicopters in this game that you can repair, but not these ones with the bent propellers. Can I get in here? Doesn't, doesn't look like it's going to let me crawl in there. And that's nothing. Now we've got a zombie right next to us here. Hopefully he doesn't see me. Let's go back around this way maybe. I can't access that door though. And there's nothing, there's no drops around it. This is uh... I don't. I don't really know how this uh, this is supposed to work with these things. Like where the drops are supposed to be. There's nothing at all around it. Unless I'm missing something here. Maybe it's glitched out. I know there have been some issues with vehicles in this game uh, lately. Can't crawl in this side. <laughs> I think you have to be careful doing this because it can kill you if you glitch into objects too much. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. It's a pretty cool find anyway. It looks pretty awesome. So, yeah, it's not giving me a scroll option for accessing anything here. Definitely can't get in there. Maybe you're supposed to take out the soldiers, like these zombie soldiers. It's like the uh, the pilots of the helicopter have turned into zombies. I don't know. And there was definitely no way to open this door or access the the, the uh, pilot's seat or anything. Okay, let's maybe uh, 
See if we can take out these zombies and see if they have any any loot on them. I just crawl. Let's just run for it up the field here, and they'll uh, they'll chase us. Whoa! They've got a bit of uh, body armor going on. I think they're not quite as easy as the normal zombies to kill. Go! There's no steep hills around here either that I can uh, go up. Oh yeah, gotta love the uh, AKM. <laughs> Trouble is I'm making a fair bit of racket here. I hope there's no one in the area because they'll uh, know where I am straight away. And lucky last. I think that's all of them. Let's see what they've got on them. So this is one of the pilots. He's got a DMR mag. That's no good to me. And he's got nothing. Smoke grenade. Hmm, that one's got a bandage. Painkillers. I think I've already got a bunch of those, but I'll take them anyway. I'll just check all the bodies here. Yeah, and there's uh, there's nothing around this helicopter itself, so that's pretty strange. Like, it's just giving me the symbol for the vehicle, and that's it. And I definitely can't get in there. Looks pretty epic. See if we can strike a pose here next to the uh, <laughs> next to the down helicopter. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, so much for that. We'll just. Um, See if I can get an epic screenshot here. That looks alright. Let's line that one up. Beautiful. <laughs> this character actually looks different to the one I had in my last playthrough. Not that you got to see that dude. I gave him some retro looking sideburns and stuff and a moustache. Anyway, we'll have to um, we'll have to head out and try and find that next deer stand um, just to check it out. I might get some more mags for my AKM, maybe from uh, if we get lucky, or I might even find a better weapon. But uh, there's definitely no way I can access this. That's a little bit disappointing. But it's a pretty cool find anyway. It's the first one I've found in the game. Alright, um, so... We'll head up and around, I guess, and uh, towards the next forest area. And uh, 
We'll see if we can find that second deer stand that's in the area. This this dude, did I check this guy? He's got nothing on him. Just want to make sure I don't miss anything. So maybe it's only the uh, zombies that spawn with the helicopter that you can get stuff off. I don't know how it works. 